it's Jules. And Zod. And today's video is a whole lot of tea. Like, of tea. okay, so let's just start off by this. Like, the title is, we caught our stalker. And you guys are probably like, well, wow, what I happened? Did, did, you, did like, you, where, where did you have a stalker? Well, that's the thing. We didn't talk about it because it was really bad. Like, to the point where, like, if we did talk about it, these people would get a rise out of it. We didn't want to feed it on social media. So while this was happening, we were filming like normal, going normal on about videos. our lives. Normal, right? But here. you guys didn't know this was all happening behind the scenes. And we were actually really scared. Yeah, we really were. We were really disturbed. So let's start off with me because it started with me and everyone in this house thought I was crazy, but I wasn't crazy. So <laughs> when we first moved in, I think we talked about it. I don't know if we did or didn't. I don't think we did because I went live on Instagram and no, no, like no. get off. Yeah, okay. So it was probably the third day moving into the new house and I went to go get the mail and there was a Ouija board and a metal cat head in our mailbox like somebody opened our mailbox put it in and there was a Ouija board on our driveway on our driveway okay at the end of our driveway this is right after all the ghost stuff in our townhouse yeah. keep that in mind so we're living in this house for three days someone already knows where we live mm -hmm. they're clearly trying to scare us right which how would, so, how would you feel so yeah so Julia went live on Instagram and I immediately was like Jules get off this person whoever it is is intentionally doing this to scare us to get our attention on and YouTube all I figured yeah on YouTube YouTube. So we let it slide. We got rid of all I that stuff. So I, I was so mad. I was so mad. I wouldn't touch the Ouija board. Sod wouldn't My touch mom the picked board. it up. <laughs> she threw it away in the dumpster. Okay, anyways, right? So fast forward probably like a couple months. I noticed that there was a car in our driveway. Me and my friend Taj were playing pool where the room is with the pool room. And I was like, oh, did anybody like order something like DoorDash or like whatever? Because at the time we were ordering DoorDash all the time so there was always a car coming in mm -hmm. coming out and it was late like it was pitch black so I literally could not see anything and everybody was like no we didn't order anything and I was like all right that's weird like somebody's in our driveway just like looking at us like windows wide open looking at us so I went outside as they were backing up and they left they sped off and I was like okay that was weird I hear a honk outside as somebody is driving by now I was like maybe it was door they had the wrong address. They went into the wrong driveway because like it's kind of like the ghost situation when you were freaking out about the ghost And I was like, no, it's not a big deal. Mm. That's kind of how this was. I was trying to be calm Well, and I was that like, night they drove by again like I went outside like I stayed outside and they went by again Okay, whatever a couple probably like weeks go by I'd say a week and I had pig and pie outside at night They were going to the bathroom and a car Slowly drives by like they stop they slow down slowly drive by and then they see me speed off so I knew it was the same exact car I knew it was so I was like and I didn't know what kind of car it was I didn't see the license plate we didn't have cameras nothing like that so I stay at the end of the driveway I'm like Jules get the dogs inside I'm gonna find out like what kind of car this is I want to try to get their license plate I'm I want to get it on camera I'm thinking Sod's paranoid yeah everybody like, in the house is no, thinking I'm delusional freaking out. so I hide in our like woodsy area and they come by again they didn't see me i had the camera out. i recorded them but it was too blurry to get the license plate it was too dark it was too and blurry th and then that type of situation happened probably two times after it okay so speeding up after that every week every week this car drove by well it was Honking. every it was every night it was every weeks. no it was literally Every single night this same exact car would go by slowly honking at this point We all knew it was going on. Okay, everyone believed sod. We were all here We were checking the windows every night this car was honking and like driving by our house slowly right. honking, Driving by again honking like it was just like creepy. multiple They wouldn't just go by once and honk they'd go by like at least back and forth like three times like that So at one point you guys were like, maybe it's just a fan trying to get our attention But like I don't think a fan does things like that. Well, they shouldn't. It's, you know what it's I mean? disrespectful. Yeah. And, and like, it's scary. It's a privacy thing. Like, that's just really weird, right? So we asked our neighbor. We forgot to fill them in on this. We asked our neighbor. We were like, hey, are there a lot of young kids that live around here? And she was like, not as much. But yeah. like, some people know that like, people that do social media moved 
in this neighborhood. You're so like, we're like, yeah. great, like people know, and it's just like people messing with us. Anyways, it was just getting to the point where it was actually annoying. Like it was getting to the point where we were actually scared. Okay, yeah. we don't know who these people are. And they came by like almost literally every single night as I'm taking the dogs out. It was like a friendly thing at that point. Like they were just, you just stopping by. Well, and their nightly routine. everything goes through your head, okay? You're like, what if these people, because it's at night, what if these people are waiting for us not to be home? What if they're waiting for the lights to get shut off? What if they're trying to break in? What if they're trying to kill us? Like everything goes through and your head. It's even scarier when like, I don't know, like I have no idea who that person, like you said, like you don't know their intentions, who they are, like what they want. So at this point, I'm pissed, yep. okay? Like we're freaked out, Sod is freaking out. I'm freaking I'm out. I call the cops. I tell them what's going on. As the car is literally going by us. Going by our house. Oh yeah. Also, I went to go get my hair cut and I thought I seen the car. Yeah. I parked at Saad somebody's. was I uh, know, listen, I mind. thought I seen it, right? So we went one night. We we were like, enough is enough. They were honking. Antonio actually heard them. And I have it on video. We were literally, I was filming like a Snapchat and you can hear the honk last second. Okay, then we'll insert that I have right to, I have, here. If I didn't find it, I didn't find it. But I literally can, I'll try to find that. I will pause. <gasps> you hear that? the tiniest like like really quickly but Antonio was this like this was a nightly occurrence Antonio was, was so like annoyed. did you hear we're that trying to live our life and it's just like beep 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 like 24 7 yeah so listen right one day we was like enough is enough I was like okay let's do this let's drive because I thought I seen the car that that was like probably a, like it wasn't too far Babe, away you gotta back up to when I call the cops you didn't even let me tell this what I go called ahead. the cops like you're just fast forwarding yeah go ahead okay rewind rewind Line. This is happening one night. The car is driving by eight yep. times to be exact eight times. Yeah, times. okay I call the cops. I'm like listen. I basically tell them our situation on social media I'm like I'm scared this car has been driving by for weeks like it is the same car for sure They come by of course the car stopped Last when they get here. They're like, we couldn't find anything, blah, blah, blah. Keep us updated. And like, they came with like flashlights and everything. Yeah. Now this is when Saad goes on the hunt. Okay, so I thought I seen the car on the way to get my hair cut. And I was like, Jules, I swear this has to be the car or it was the make of the car. So I said, tonight. I literally said, because we knew they were going to come that night. I was like, okay, so tonight we're going to stake out and have the car on, lights off. Like, cause the cops, I think we called them twice and we were like, okay, like every single time they miss it. Like yeah. we, it needs to happen on the spot. And like, don't ever do this. Like no. don't ever do what me and Julia don't, did. Cause I was Dude, actually- I was just at my wits end with whoever was doing this to us. And I was like, enough is enough. So I was like, let's shut the lights off tonight. Let's leave the car on and let's sit in it. And once we hear that horn, we're gonna go outside. So yes. we did Saad's plan. We parked the car at the end of the driveway and before you know it, as expected, they started. They, Antonio comes running down like they honked, they honked, they did it. No. I like we as had this. As soon as they went by the house, I turned my lights on and I zoomed out of my driveway. Yeah, but but we didn't go after them. At first, we did not, but we did. But let's get to that. We went to the house to see if that car was missing because we would have known exactly where that person lived. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we did. But it that. wasn't because the car was there and there's still going down our street and we're like probably like 20 minutes away now yeah. and like I was like oh my god I just ruined my own plan but I we were on the phone with Antonio and I'm like Antonio are they still driving by they're still driving by he said yeah they're still going by so Antonio was on the phone operating which way they are and stuff so anyway when he told us I Julia went Julia went fast and furious I started zooming we found the car right we get in a high speed chase Do like no listen this. listen no 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 so they were hiding on a side street and I was like Julia that, that is the yeah. car like that I is knew it we saw they them. saw us they saw they us. Saw us we, we saw, saw them, them. And, and they started they flying they when I tell you we were going 80 on a 30 like don't I ever. was zooming but we needed to wait, get this wait, license do we plate. have the video Sun's out the window <laughs> laughing recording I the license plate I'm Dude, our them. adrenaline is like at its height. I'm like, call the cops, call the cops. Saad calls the cops. We get the license plate, we uh -huh. give it to the cops, yep. all this stuff, but we chase them for so long. But then, like, the thought occurred to me wait, these people could have a gun. Like, we, we don't know who they are. What are we, are we doing? doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
they could have a gun. So we stop. I like turn off into, they go like down a dead Where end. Where graveyard Like is. a sketchy and like, road. And I'm like, no, 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 no. So they know we We know. Them, we, right? They know that, yeah. They know we know. So you think would end. We go into the cops, give them everything. They yeah. got the information. It's on record more than once, right? So you think it would end there? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't end there. Okay? It doesn't end there. Over. Well, you know, it did get quiet for a few days. Yeah, it did. It did. Uh, we're not going to say anything about the person because we're not trying to bring anything Obvi yeah, about obviously. it. Yeah, obviously. But it was multiple people. It was yeah. multiple people. Okay, so after that, a couple days went by and we're good. And we are home and we are relaxing. And Julia's like, hey, I'm going to go live on Instagram. You know, just and going live on Instagram. And she went live on Instagram, right? Go now, ahead. this is the craziest thing. So I'm on Instagram live, right? And I have to act normal. Like you guys are in my broadcast and I see you. I also see the stalker in our broadcast because at this point they were on a fake account, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And they were commenting things like old blank car. Like the yeah. way we described the car to the cops. They were also commenting things in my live, like anything, anything weird be been happening since you moved in the new house. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. thinking that I like like, don't know like that I don't know them like they thought we was gonna like be like oh yeah like somebody's been driving by our house and they were gonna be like oh my god yes sweet thing no yeah oh like they god. were sitting waiting so I screenshotted it no 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 wait yeah you screenshotted it but then you got off live no but I want to show the screenshot real quick so this is the screenshot because I screenshotted it so fast when they were commenting because mm -hmm. I don't think they knew that, that we, knew. we knew yeah anyway. so Julia gets off and she's like are you serious like they are still doing this like they're bringing it to Instagram now. So uh, I was smart enough to do this, and we knew at this point, guys. Also remember this: we knew who they were. We knew who they were. So yeah. we weren't. Well, we didn't like know who they were. No, like, we, we don't didn't know, know them, them personally. But like we, we found knew who out they were. who they were. Yeah, we found out who they were. Yeah. So like I was not scared. No. You was not scared. Not no. one bit. It's just I, I was ready to fight. That's what I was. Yeah. I was ready to fight. So I was like, okay, Jules, I want you to call back live on Instagram and see if they go in. And even if they don't talk, I guarantee you they're in there. And she was like, well, why? And I was like, because I have a plan. I was like, we are going to say, and I'm going to say in your broadcast, I'm going to say, hey, Jules, can you get off? Like, I want to go to Target. Like, let's go to Target. So Setting them up. So setting we're them setting up. them up for them to go to Target so we can say, can you guys like completely just knock it off? Like it's getting to the point where like, we're literally in our twenties. Like they, I don't know like what they are. Like, you know what I mean? Like it, it was a lot. So Julia goes live and they didn't talk in it though. I no, I, I was like, I was like, they're not going to fall for this. They can't be that stupid. So Julia I was goes like, live. Plus, I didn't think they were in my live because they weren't commenting. Yeah. But the whole live, I just kept saying, oh yeah, we're going to go to Target. Like, oh yeah. What do you we want to Target? We need to go to Target. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna film a video, so we need to go to Target. So we were like, okay, and so Julia ended the broadcast, like, okay, guys, gotta go to Target. I was like, Target. we're going right now. Yeah, so we uh, go to Target. We don't see their car. We don't see the car, and I was like, okay, like, let's just walk in and, like, just see if they, like, fell for it. Cause, like, you gotta be some type of dumb. Also, let to me, be let me disclose something. So at this point, I know what one of them look like because, and I wanna disclaim this, the only way we know what they look like is because we saw them in the car. Yes. That night. And uh, yes, I knew exactly what what this person looked like so I was like that is that person we like, had, I we could had a pin face. it out I yeah could, we had a face I, yeah so we're going in and Julia was like sod I think that's them no, no I knew and them. I was like wait they what like I didn't right by us I didn't I see said, that that's them yeah. And you said no. And I said that. Because, like, them. I didn't believe someone would actually do that. Like, yeah. Fall they for did. Something. I don't know what the point was. And they were acting. They didn't know we knew what they looked like. Yeah. And we didn't. We only knew what one of them looked like. And I saw that person's face. Mm -hmm. And that's all I needed. Yeah. So I don't know what their intention was. Like, to, to like, just to watch go us. and, like, watch us out. Like, you want to just, like, see you us. Look at us. Like, anyway, I just want to also disclose this is not a fan. Okay. There is a yeah. lot. In between a fan and like and harassment, harassment, and yeah. this person knew they were scaring us. There was stuff with the cops, like they knew, they knew we were uncomfortable. They knew they were scaring us. They continued to do it. They were getting enjoyment out of it. So when I see this person and the others, because there was more than one, I ran up to them 
so fast and i have it on video we have it on I, video but we're not i'm sure. not gonna insert that for like a legal reason since this did go to the cops you guys can see the other footage this i'm just gonna tell you how the conversation went i was like hey you you think it's cool to drive by people's houses and honk at them and they did not they, know they their jaws dropped they did not know we knew who they were we didn't yeah. they did not know they're probably we watching they, this right now they probably are <laughs> hi but I was like, you think it's cool? Like, I just lost it. You think it's cool to honk at people's houses? And I think, you think one it's of them cool was to harass also recording people? too. Yeah, they were recording. So I'm recording. Mm -hmm. They're recording because I wanted it. Because, like, I can purposes. see the phone. Like, like you know when somebody's recording, you can tell by an angle. Yeah, I was not in the wrong. They were. So I was just like, it's it's harassment. Like, what's the point? They Why said they didn't us? know who lived there. They were like, we didn't know. We weren't trying to scare you. We weren't trying to harass you. We were bored and we were just driving by a house and okay honking. but like okay i get it like do it once whatever haha ha, fun and games but doing it every single night like it's a schedule like it's a routine that is psychotic and i was like so it was just a random house and they were you like yeah us. you we just, just chose a random house they were like yeah that sounds so crazy starting to laugh and i'm like <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. And then they were like, we didn't know who you were until after we were already doing it. So why did you keep doing it and why are you still doing it right now? They and I was were. like, I was like, so who had the fake account? And one of them said it was me. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And we also literally said to them, I wonder how they felt after this. They I felt was like, stupid. I was like, I was like, listen, oh, you guys just come to Target? And they were like, Yeah, we just come to Target. Oh, and then I was like, Well, we literally set you guys up because we said we was going to Target. And they were like, Oh. I know. I was, I, was like, I was like, oh, it's funny that like we went on live purposely to set you up and you fell for it. So they felt so, so dumb. I will say after that, Julia, dude, you was a boss. I, Let me tell you, you was like, I you was it. being serious. Yeah. You I was like, don't. Around. It's not cool. Yeah. No. So after that, I will say. Oh, I said, I said something along the lines of just an in-person warning. Don't come on Instagram live. Don't come by our house. It's just not scary cool. if somebody's talking at Not your house, cool. So. Very disrespectful. Our houses are a safe place. And like you guys Please respect it very, that. very, very uncomfortable. Well, we and said like, like we've already documented yeah. like X amount of times. If you do again, I will file a harassment order. Yep. And then we got left alone. Yeah. Yep. But I who I even I and, and listen and listen, target workers it. came up to us. Oh my god, I know the After. target the target workers came up because this was loud, right? Like I, I feel we was bad. like I you know like scene. in Target where like the cards are like all the Pokemon cards. Like we was dude, we just right caught our stalker. Everyone's checking out i'm like do not come to my house i will hit you with a harassment order and target's like what's going on and then what's nice is the target workers were like we have security here anytime like if you I need know, it yeah. and i was like oh my god thanks but, but okay so fast forward to like now and like has it happened no that, that conversation I know ended it i haven't heard a honk ever since <sighs> i haven't either and, it's, and it feels so much better but now like now that like that's over like I never want to deal with something like that again. I don't <laughs> I really don't. And, and this is the thing. Let me also say this. We didn't talk about this on social media because we didn't want to fuel the fire. And this happened months ago. This happened ago. months ago. Months ago. It started when we first moved in till maybe like what? Probably December. It was just January. ridiculous. It was just ridiculous. But that's what happened to us that you guys didn't know. Um, hate that we couldn't tell you, but we But we couldn't tell you guys until we got it figured out because if this person or these people knew that we like knew, then they would get more of a kick and they could have did something else. Also, I wanna say things happen off camera. Okay, things happen. We're not gonna take everything to social media, so right. nobody else better come stalk us because we're gonna make a video about that. No, we're not. Like this is it. Like, if anything was to happen again, like, you're gonna get in trouble by the, like, the police or something. Like, yeah. It's just something that we've been wanting to so tell social media, but we felt like we couldn't. But, like, it feels good to, like, actually let y'all know, like, hey. We got cameras now. Yeah, we got a bunch of those. The cops know us now. Yeah. Don't come to our house. And it's just, like, I don't think it's even okay. A fan wouldn't. I know the fans wouldn't do no, it. No, like, and that's just not, like, especially just any anybody's house. Like, I wouldn't do that to anybody's house. I wouldn't. Why like, Why would anyone want to make someone feel uncomfortable? It, it, it was so uncomfortable, and guys, like, I literally didn't even want to, like, Saw, sit outside. I like, couldn't sleep. I like, couldn't even sleep because we didn't know who it was. I didn't know what they disgusting. wanted. disgusting. Why would you do that to somebody? But, yeah, things happen off camera, and that is one of them that happened off 
off camera while well, I recorded a lot of it. But yeah. Yeah, that I can't believe. Yeah, I hope that was some tea because I have been. Julia's been wanting to talk about it more than me, but I've just been nervous about it because well, I don't want them to come back. And if they come back, then they're getting in trouble by the law. But like, I just personally, like it happened. And like, I just felt like it was something that should come to light because also, people should not be doing that. Yeah, and I also think that as influencers, I think we should also say that we are people. And this is for all influencers. There's a line of respect for privacy. I don't know if these people would call themselves fans, but fans do not do that. Mm -mm. Fans do not do that. You do not go to someone you adore's house and do things to scare them. Like, there's and honk just, at them there's and stuff. A, and... There's a line, okay? Phone numbers, those are private things. Houses are our safe spots, and there's just a line of respect. Like, if we're out and about, you can say hi. I really, like... But I'm our not. home is our home. Yeah. That, that is our safe. And it just thing. makes it like even weirder. Like, cause like I let pig and pie play outside. Like I don't want a person just randomly going up to them or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's all done now, but that was our little story time. And a lot of the, I just want to say this just to throw this in. It, it has to do with it, but doesn't have to do with it. A lot of things happen behind closed doors that people don't necessarily want to bring to light at first. But like, I felt like this situation was going to we were just kind of like nervous too yeah so but that was i hope you guys enjoyed the story this that story. Was our story thankfully thankfully it's, it's over, over. and like it was a lot of stress at the time it was and then we, we put our our foot down and i was ready to go to war for it <laughs> No, but seriously guys, I feel like this video just doesn't need a post notification. I feel like this was like a raw, like this is life a thing. Raw, real, like legit happened. This is not made up. No, this is, well this, we have, we have footage. We have, we have, we have and like we said, we have a bunch of footage that like we literally cannot show. But we'll show what we can and insert. If we can. Yeah, we'll show what we can, but there's stuff. Anyway, guys, <laughs> that was our story. That was our stalker story. If you guys want more stories, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, but hopefully- Not stalker stories. I we don't have, gonna say, we don't have like any this. more of those. Not like this, please. Kind of like when that person proposed to me at the club. That was something else. That was a wild night. <laughs> that was a wild night. Anyway, guys, that is going to be all for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed this story time mm. but we love you guys we will see you later and, and stay, stay a1, a1. <laughs>